Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and in this video I'm going to show you how to check a brushless DC motor. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to check a brushless DC motor. This specifically is a fan motor and this came out of a Fujitsu mini split unit. This is specifically the indoor fan motor, also known as the evaporator fan motor. And let's get into it. This is known as a BLDC motor, a brushless digitally commutated motor. This is commonly found in all ductless systems. This is a common type of motor found in a ductless mini split system. This specifically is the indoor fan motor, but you will notice that the outdoor fan motor has the same style of setup. Let's look into the wiring. Here we have a Molex type connector and we have one, two, three, four, five wires. We have a red, black, white, yellow, and blue. If you pay attention to the harness, you can see there's an empty slot right here. So we're going to have our red, empty space, and then so forth. And these are typically numbered. Starting from the red wire is pin number one. The empty space would be pin number two. Black three. White four. Yellow five. Blue six. Our reference point is going to be the black wire, which is common. To check these pins efficiently, you're going to want a pair of micro leads as we have here. The standard type leads are the ones we have right here, as you can see the size difference. You're going to want a pair of micro leads so you can fit your leads inside here or even reach these. If we look closely on the diagram for the motor, we have these Chinese symbols and then these abbreviations VM, ground, VCC, VSP, and PG. Let's explain that. Let's take a closer look at those symbols and the colors that match with them. So your red wire is going to be VM. VM is going to be voltage motor, so it's going to be the voltage across the motor. So your black wire is GND, that's going to be your ground and your reference point. Your white wire is going to be VCC, which is voltage common collector. VSP, which is your yellow wire, is your voltage speed, your modulation. As this motor ramps up and down, then we have PG, which is your signal wire, which stands for pulse generator. So it basically measures the rotational speed and it's your feedback to your variable frequency drive. This is how you would check the voltage. So black is always gonna be your reference point. So that is terminal three. So you're gonna check from terminal three to one, three to four, three to five, three to six. So first off, 1 to 3, which is going to be your red. So between red and black, you should have your voltage. Remember, you're checking volts DC. So you should be getting 310 to 315 volts. That's typical of what these motors run. Remember, terminal 2, there's nothing there. Then we're going to go from the black wire to 4. So between 3 and 4, you should be measuring around 15 volts DC. Then from black to yellow, 3 to 5, you should be measuring anywhere from 0 to 6.5 VDC. And between black and blue is your signal wire. There is no measurement for the blue wire. This is when you're checking voltage. The best way would definitely be to check resistance using your ohmmeter across these terminals and once again your black is going to be your reference point. I'm going to use a diagram just so I can explain it a bit better but these are the terminals we're going to be checking. As far as resistance once again black is going to be our reference point our ground and as far as the readings you're going to get this is going to be your rule of thumb for the most part it will serve you right but for true accurate results you really want to go and check in with the manufacturer's motor and get a list of those readings. So, first thing we're going to do, put our lead on black, which is always going to be our reference point, and then check the red. So between black and red, we should be reading 1.2 to 2.0 M ohms. Next, we can keep 
the lead on black and check between black and white. Let's just do things a little easier. So between black and white, you should be reading five to 10 K ohms. Then we can check from black to blue. You should be reading about and around 5.2 M ohms. And then from black to yellow, you should be reading around 147 K ohms. So that's pretty much how you would check it. It is definitely safer to check when the power is off, checking resistance. If the motor is getting proper voltage and it's not spinning, most likely you have a bad motor. Or you can also check with the power off by checking those resistance readings. Personally, I like checking with the voltage. Just remember you're dealing with a high voltage and it's dangerous. So it would be up to you. It's getting voltage, not spinning, bad fan motor. If it's not getting voltage, well, you need to look into why it's not giving out the voltage. And pretty much that's the way you check it between voltage and resistance. And more or less, you should have an understanding on how to do that. If you found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time. Yeah.